Recently, I decided to get into Reddit, which was a mistake because it's been eating up a lot of my free time. I don't really post. I'm more of a lurker, as it's known. However, one of my favorite uh, pages to lurk is called Shitty Game Collecting, which is just a bunch of out-of-touch or old people or scalpers trying to make a quick buck on the retro gaming hobby. So um, I wanted to take you guys on a trip around my local area through Facebook Marketplace and see how many people are trying to rip off others using uh, the retro game hobby and the shitty game collecting tactics. So immediately right off the bat, nothing really sticks out too badly. Um, Angry Birds PC, $2, sure. 18 PS1 games, 50 bucks. Then we scroll down, this one I saw earlier. Um, this is the PlayStation 2 lot. Now, honestly, when I first saw this for 15 bucks, I was like, okay, that's actually pretty, it's not a bad deal, it's like a dollar per game. And then I see the actual price, $15 per game or 200 for the entire collection. You guys wanna pay $15 for iToy Antigrav? Isn't that exactly what you wanna do? <laughs> How about $15 for Spider-Man 2? <laughs> $15 per game. Now, there's a couple games in here that that's not too far off for a couple of them, but for the most part, none of these cross the $5 to $10 range. Um, specifically, games like iToy and Get On to Mike, I don't think I would pay more than a dollar a piece for. Um, actually, I have most of the games that are in this listing. And I don't think I paid more than a dollar a piece for a lot of these. And this person's trying to get 200 for all of these. Jesus Christ. Oh, Lego Dimensions for 100 bucks. It's the Xbox 360 game, the Portal, Gandalf, Doctor Who, Star Wars, and... Star Wars? There was a Star Wars Lego Dimensions? Where is it? I don't, I don't remember there being a Star Wars Lego Dimensions. What the hell are you on about? Also, I wouldn't pay $100 for Lego Dimensions because nowadays you can probably find them for dirt cheap. It was discontinued a long time ago. And it's not even a good version. It's the Xbox 360 version. It's not like it's a PS4 or Xbox One version of the game. Hell, even the Wii U version of the game is better than the 360 version. Oh my god, that's $100 for Lego Dimensions in 2020. Holy shit. Okay, here's another situation uh, th where someone clearly paid a lot of money back in the day and they didn't really get their money back and they're salty about it, so they're trying to upcharge. They're charging $75 for three Skylanders games and a Walmart bag full of what looks like 20 Skylanders. Interesting thing about Skylanders, um, I'm not sure how much they go for online, I was never really into Skylanders, but there's a local retro game shop around me, I'm not sure if they'd want to be name dropped, but they have literally bins at the front of the store, and I don't think I've ever seen one of the Skylanders marked for more than 4 or $5 inside of those bins. Normally they're cents, normally you can get them for like 75 cents. So the fact that this person's charging $75 for a bunch of toys and three Xbox 360 Skylander games, again, not even the current generation. Those games on their own are worth less than a dollar a piece, and you're charging $75 for that whole thing. Let's see what else we got here. So far, so good. There's not too, too many, too many bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, there's two of them. Oh, no. PlayStation Classics. This one at least has, like, a nice case. This one, oh, my God. I gotta look at these things. PlayStation Classic, a miniaturized version of the original PlayStation from the 90s. So, 20 games. so this guy didn't even like mod it. So this guy is literally charging $80 for a console that two weeks ago was going for 20 because it has a nice case. A case that it's probably going to sit in for the rest of its life because the PS1 Classic was a really, really bad console. Brand new, used once. If it's used, then it's not brand new, dude. That's not how that works. SNES games, $125. Now you do have, uh, you have titles up there like Jurassic Park and F-Zero, which aren't the most common. I mean, I, but albeit they're not rare. You can get a copy of F-Zero for probably around 20 bucks. You can get Jurassic Park for probably around 10. But everything else in here is a $5 game. Mario Paint, I think I literally got for free doing a buy two, get one. Oh, okay, well there's another page. Okay, well now I feel like a dumbass. Um, let's see, Donkey Kong Country, Aladdin. Mario World, two copies of Mario World. Yeah, 125 does, it seems a little high, I'll be honest. Uh, I think I, this is probably like a 
60 to 80 dollar collection i think that 125 is asking way too much for games that are it, it, it says tested but they're filthy like look at the grime 125 is far too much because someone's gonna have to go through and clean these 125 is what these games would be worth if some of them were mint with the manual and clean you're selling dirty ass games grimy ass games and they're not in good shape Here's another one, Xbox 360, all one word apparently, no, no spaces, no spaces, no dashes, just Xbox 360, no punctuation allowed, just Xbox 360, $350, games and accessories, games too many to list, so take a fucking picture. I don't know what's included with this. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at Marketplace. Um, if you guys want, I can do this regularly because I deal with this a lot. But until next time, guys, peace out, take care, don't get scammed. <laughs>